Hello there guys and gals, welcome back to part two out of three, or video two out of three, whatever you want to call it, of our 100% achievement guide and trophy guide, whichever one you're playing on of course, for Destroy All Humans. And we begin straight away with It's a Wonderful Armageddon, which is mission 16 out of 23. So that's what we're going to be doing for this particular video, we're going to get from mission 16 to 23 at the end, and then of course for our third and final video we will be doing all of the challenges with a lot of hints and tips because i'm just that nice to you guys <laughs> of course i am i hope have i jerked you around in the past well i certainly hope not but anyway this video will only take about an hour and a half so these are fun missions to be honest there's nothing that's really i do like this one this is again the, Another quite short mission. Make sure as we start then to holler blob your way into little uh, chickity doodas um, Lego head by the looks of things. That is a goddamn hairsprayish Lego haircut that she's got. Um, but yeah, so we've got three boss fights coming up. One in mission 18 and the other two are in mission 24. But they are relatively easy. They are not so bad at all. But of course, when we get there, I'll give you all the hints and tips you need to destroy them shits. Destroy them. But for now, we're just going to go over to the marked area. And for the first side missional, missional objective, mission objective, just go ahead and destroy this turret right here. So you can explode it if you want. Whichever way is easier. Probably worth just getting your ion detonator out and giving it a whack. Either way, as long as you destroy it, all is good, and now you can just carry on. So what we've got to do, it's, a, it's another defending mission, but it's not as bad as, say, Mission 11 was, or anything like that. Um, so just go around, doing what you've been doing throughout the whole game. Kill, 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 my pretties. And once our little drone friend has been done scanning, he's still going to get shot at, but just head over to the next uh, marker, which is just to the right of us right here. Again, just stay on the sort of rooftop if you need a bit of healing power there. And of course, have a look if you need more ammo as well. Otherwise, we'll be defending again for 1 minute and 20 seconds. But for our next optional objective, we need to get rid of the SAM rocket launcher. Which we did just pass. It's just to the left of our location. Literally, it's not too difficult. It's the only one in the area. So go ahead and destroy that. And then, once again, do what you do. Uh, anal probe way. Fling your way. Do whatever it is that you, you're happy doing. I mean, it's always worth anal probing everything, though, isn't it? Because it's just so much funnier seeing everyone grab their butts. <laughs> So we are done with this part of the mission, so again, you're still going to get shot at, so if you, again, if you're going to need some more brains, some DNA to upgrade your weapons, just go ahead and do what I do here, uh, take some brains for you on the way, delicious, probably delicious, I wonder what brain tastes like, I've never actually had brain, 
So if anyone watching has had brain, let me know what it tastes like. I'm intrigued. And I'm a fat git, so I'm surprised I haven't tasted any uh, brain, to be honest. Anyway, I'm sounding weird. We're going to move on. We're going back to the saucer now. And basically, what we're going to be doing is destroying Santa Modesta. This is the mission where we just fudge it all up, son. But, of course, there's going to be a lot of gunpowder that's going to be coming our way to try and kick our grey-green little ass. But we also have a new weapon, which is always handy. And this one is called the Quantum Deconstructor. And... Basically, what it does is fire off this big, massive ball and destroys a building or anything in kind of one hit. So it's... Oh, it's pretty beastly. It's about the same kind of explosion as uh, I do on the toilet. <laughs> That's disgusting. I'm so sorry. You didn't need to know that. Anyway, but before we use our quantum deconstructor, go ahead and destroy military assets. Again, that'll be any rocket launchers any um, tanks, any army jeeps, and of course, if you remember where we were, there was a little army base a little earlier on as well you can go to. Um, so just fly around, keep having a look. You'll be able to sort of see uh, on the map where things are, obviously the red mini, the red mini dots. So yeah, just keep having a look around, just make sure to do that before you destroy Santa Modesta. Now that we've done that, kill, kill, kill them all. Use your quantum thief constructor and you'll see how powerful it is now. So yeah, it's pretty good. My advice though, if you want to get this done a little bit quicker, is use them where quite a few buildings are sort of um, together. So, you know, like two or three buildings together, it's probably better to use it then. But, again, if you do need any more ammo, of course, remember to press the X button when you pick up a vehicle with your... Um, right bumper. Otherwise, my guys and gals, you enjoy destroying this city. This is what we need in a video game. Gets rid of a lot of stress, does it not? <laughs>
Did you want a saucer upgrade? Or something a little more... personal? Mm. Ah, so I hope you're feeling better after after destroying a town, you cruel, cruel son of a bitch. Destroying loads of people's lives because... You know what? I don't actually know why. I don't actually know why. We just come to Earth, we're just taking over Earth. Well, at least the mission is simple for that one. But anyway, now we're on to mission 17, fewer on down. This is our new area that we're coming into now, Union Town. And it's kind of like a worker's kind of... Just ratty hellhole looking place. But we get an achievement for coming in here after being shot down. So that's all good. And that's all handy. So what we're going to do, we need to um, hollow blob a few humans. And the same one sadly doesn't work as I tried and failed because it doesn't work. So we're going to stay hollow blobbed as a scientist. Hack our way out of this little area. And then just try and stay out of the majestic circle, give them a little mind scan, and then use the distract on them. And then they'll just completely, won't even realise that you uh, are just about to walk past. So happy days. So keep scanning minds for now. Basically, we just need to find all our weapons. Again, this is uh, another nice, easy sort of mission as we come towards the end now. Now, to get this optional side objective... Basically done quick, just make sure that there are no other people about. Cancel your hollow blob, of course, using the B button, and then hollow blob the next guy. But just make sure there's nobody looking, because it just makes it a hell of a lot easier for you. So, like this guy here, he's on his own. And there's going to be another guy. There is going to be another guy walking around here on his own. Like I said, just remember that. If the one person sees you, it doesn't matter because you can still hollow blob him. It's if other people see you. So the guys from Green Bay asks if I'm a Packer fan. I says Packer. I Actually, in fact, there are no more guys looking around. I'll just hide behind this little bit of a fence right here. And then hollow blob the one guy. So you should be able to do that without being spotted. That'll get our optional side objective done. And then we can go and pick up our gun. And then scare the crap out of everyone. By the way, what is your favourite one-liner quote from all the uh, NPCs in this game? Mine is definitely... Little green piss ants! I literally piss myself laughing every time I hear that. But what is your favourite? I would like to know because there's so many. T there are so many good ones in here, so many good ones. So we've taken on the this um, the form of this scientist right here. Of course, remember always um, holler blob the one at the back because the one at the front, the the guy in the back will see you and oh, it'll all just get a bit messy. And we don't really need that shit, do we? Let's go ahead, uh, you don't really need to dis- I don't think you need to distract the scientist here, but it's always worth doing it just in case. What's the condition of your ship? No idea. The no humans must notice. have recovered your I ship! Uh-huh. <laughs> oh. That chili's gonna be repeating on me all night long. Good. This information will help lead us to your ship. Scan more workers. A lot of grunts around. So this is just another easy bit. Uh, we just got to scan a couple of workers for hints. Even though there are about a thousand million billion workers about, apparently there's only three specific ones that we need to do. And the two are right. This one we just did. One right there. Go to the left in this building. Don't worry about the guards. They won't stop you. Go get your jetpack. I don't know why nobody's stopping you, though, because you're literally just stealing, you know, alien space equipment, which is being guarded by the army, but nobody bats an eyelid. So you see the little bit of orange beam in the distance. Where we're going is basically back to the area where we started. Um, we're going to go 
and it's basically on top of one of the big massive water towers which you need to fly up as as Crypto Beanie. Boy, there's a lot of weird crap going on around these docks lately. Must be something in the water. I'd give my moral compass for one second with a fresh alien corpse, if I had one. Actu! So there we go then, go ahead, fly up. You should have enough jetpacks bunk in you there, and the guy is literally behind you. Don't get confused like I did. And it can be a little bit finicky here, potentially, but... Uh, just, uh, you know, try your damned best. You will get, you will get there eventually. You'll have to sort of get a bit closer to him, and then you'll be able to scan his mind. And then what you can do is just hollow blob him straight away. Because what we actually need to be doing now is we need a soldier disguise. To actually be able to get on the boat and get to the other side of the island, we need a soldier disguise. Now, there are plenty walking about, but of course, just remember that it could be completely random for you, depending on how quick or how long you take to do each section, of course. I get quite lucky and end up bumping into a soldier on his own, but... Of course, if you don't have one, then obviously you can always get one soldier to follow you into a secluded area and um, just holler blob in from there. So again, if you do get stuck, make sure get a soldier to follow you and you should be able to holler blob in fine. Otherwise, all we're just doing then is heading onto the boat for now. It's a nice, nice little... Please, God, not cold meatloaf for lunch again. <laughs> again, I just... I can't, I just can't help but laugh at every one of these bloody NPCs, uh, mind scans. It's a top job by the guys and gals at the Black Forest Games. Oh wait, he's not dead yet. Uh, I don't know no Armquist is my hero. I can't take you over without proper authorization. I ain't taking you nowhere without proper authorization. So for this one, make sure to choose the fourth option, which is Marilyn. Marilyn, will you take me to the island now? No. Your ship must have crashed somewhere nearby. Right then, so here we are then. We are at the island, and as you'll see in a bit, what we are trying to do is Kind of get sneaky. All we're doing is just following the orange beam um, on the minimap. As you can see, just in the distance, we're trying to get there. Um, but I actually end up screwing up, and everyone knows that I'm an alien. But it actually works to our advantage, as we can just literally fly from uh, bit to bit, which we need in the next section. So for now, just keep running towards it. There's our there's our spaceship right there. So what I tried doing was distracting this, ended up um, <laughs> getting inside a majestic agent circle, and then everyone was like, what in the holy goddamn hell? But what we need to do is command this guy to drop the saucer. Or Nigel Mansell, apparently. He stopped racing Formula 1 cars to work for the army, by the looks of things, old Nige. Um, so yeah, straight away, when we, <laughs> we need to get into our saucer, straight away, but of course, as we know, as we've just seen, the, the, we are all, we're basically compromised. So, as soon as the cutscene ends, or you skip it, then what we need to do is just fly away. Because there's a bloody mech there, and he is going to hurt us. So there is a couple of these little power cells, what we need, uh, as you can see by the orange beam. So, again, any soldiers, just fling them away. Um, do whatever it is that you find the easiest to kill them. Otherwise, just go from orange beam to orange beam, picking up these little power cells. And then we can very quickly move on. The mech shouldn't be too much trouble as long as you keep moving. And, you know, try not to fall in the water, because that shit hurt, yo. Like a bloody toddler. Oh, I can't get in the water, it hurts. Wah. 
And as for the um, optional side objective, we won't worry about that until we get to the main bigger part of the area. There's a couple of Majestic's agents here, so make sure to fling them first. There will be two or three right here, and then there will be a ton more on this massive boat that we're gonna just about to go on. So go ahead and fly up. So you can already see the orange beams. That is exactly where the rest of the power cells are. So that bit's easy. It's just getting the Majestic Agents enough to finish off this side objective. So we've got the mission side objective done. So unless you need any more um, DNA brains for your weapon upgrades just literally fly straight to there and then we can head back to the main bit There's we are almost done with this mission now oh, good. You've collected the energy cells required for liftoff. Return to your ship immediately! So, objective is now to get back to our saucer, but be careful as there is a lot more gunpowder and firepower that is trying to eat you out. Oh, wait, no, that sounds wrong. Trying to kill you? Yeah, that'll just do. But immediately just go straight to your saucer, ignoring the enemies. We're going to jump in and then we're just going to destroy... Um, the orange beamed uh, launchers and turrets. And then that is that. Mission is defeated, completed. Step right up. Weapons, abilities, saucers. So here we are then. Capital City. Everyone likes Capital City, right? Being a non American, the closest thing to Capital City is like. I, I don't know, Cardiff? I, I suppose. That's not even that good. But anyway, this is where we are. This is the last um, area of the entire game now, so we haven't got any other areas to go to. Um, but what we're going to do, we've obviously hollow blobbed a guy, so we're just going to head to the orange beam at the minute, scanning again people on your way past, but you've got to remain undetected until we get to the octagon. So basically, we're going to scan three scientists, and then we're going to follow him, but of course, we need to scan mines Avoid majestic agents, just remain undetected, otherwise you'll just have to replay this part of the game again. And nobody likes that. Nobody likes replaying things. Fly down. Don't look. Don't look. Okay, I'm at the White House. Looks kinda like a palace. Big, stodgy, neoclassical plantation style. So of course, don't get too close. These three scientists are coming now. As you can see, so all you gotta do is just scan all three of their minds, and then eventually one of them will say something in in funny German, in funny little German accents. I'm just joking. I love the German accent. Die Freuden and Heiden, etc., etc. But scan the minds, follow the one guy until we get to El Octagono. Kandinsky, German. Blue Rider? <sighs> that Armquist picks some really stupid passwords. Follow this human. He said something about Armquist. How could he? On our honeymoon. Hi, 
I was just following standard insertion procedures. Acht, insert tab A into slot B. What could go wrong? I've got it! The solution to Fermat's last theorem. It's... Oh, wait, wait, ah, oh, crap, I just had it. <laughs> I remember... Now, be very careful here. You actually have to wait for a couple of seconds until he gets into his prime position. If you try and holler blob him now, he will actually um, find you. So just, yeah, so just wait for a couple of seconds and then do it. So basically, if you do it too soon, he'll actually turn around and you'll actually fail that objective, which is just a pain in the nutsack, quite frankly. But we we're off then. Just head now to the orange beam. It does get a little slightly... Touched a little bit more difficult, but it's not too bad. All we're basically doing now, we'll just be distracting these soldiers. Um, this guy's going to let us in. <laughs> Eventually, he's going to let us in. Come on, douchebag, let us in. I did actually see if we could get just through the bridge on the side, but we can't without dying. Um, so, obviously, scan mines before to get your old hollow blob disguise up, and then... Just distract the exact same soldiers that I do. Obviously, they'll be distracted, so then we can just move on. Na 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 na. Dancy dancy. There we go. It's the worst Strictly Come Dancing I've ever seen. Although, then again, I've never seen Strictly Come Dancing, so. My D.I. sure is a mean son of a gun. I don't get to shoot somebody soon, I'm gonna go out of my mind. Don't find out about me and her sister at the wedding. Boy, what a dish she was. Wish I'd brought my slicker. Of course, I could use a shower. What would Brando do? Stella! Stella! So if you remember the password from the... Uh, scientists mind it is number one the blue rider password, the password is blue rider. <laughs> Welcome to the octagon, <laughs> still so funny still so funny oh man what a game seriously I have a rifle her name is Sue try to get near armquist and see what you can learn Why does Joe keep looking at me? He can't tell just by looking, can he? So we can actually get out of the hollow blob here, so we can actually fly up, trying to get stuck like a douche like I did, um, which would always be handy. And uh, basically, what's just going to happen in this cutscene is we're going to overhear a little bit of uh, General Armquist's plans. And they're not going well if you obviously were to continue watching the cutscene. Stick in the army, getting it on. But, very bad news our source has been found, so we've got two minutes to get to where it was, which isn't bad. But we need to kill soldiers with explosives, and you've got to be very quick with that. Obviously, the soldiers are mainly on the bridge with all explosive barrels on there. So, again, try not to rush. You've still got plenty of time. Try not to rush and panic yourself and pressure. Just pick it up. Make sure to lock on to a soldier. Try and get two or three soldiers together to obviously make it a lot easier for yourself. And as soon as we get that um, side objective done, just head straight there. But again, there will be a mech that can try and attack you as well, so it's just quite pivotal we get this done as quick as can. Wow. 
Wham bam, thank you ma'am. Let's get our uh, green ass out of here. Now we can reach our saucer. Of course, wait until your health picks up there. And, uh, and obviously, just remember, if you end up failing a mission side objective for whatever reason, just let yourself die or restart the checkpoint, of course. I'm pretty sure I would have said that before. I hope I have. Apologies if I haven't, but I think I would have. Just use your ion detonator. This finishes this part extremely quickly. <laughs> like, seriously, extremely quickly. Of course, you don't have to, but... You know, the, the world is your oyster, but definitely I find the Ion Detonator to be the most effective weapon there. But that is that, and now we are going to get to our first boss level. And it's, it is actually quite easy. Um, even as we are going for the missional side objective, it's so easy to avoid his rockets and everything. So, <laughs> drinking cans of Coca-Cola is easier. No, wait, I mean, he's easier than drinking cans of Coca-Cola. Ah, crap, I, I screwed that up. Either way, he's bloody easy, so pick your upgrades and <laughs> let's move on. So we're not actually getting into the boss fight straight away then, we've got a little bit of following to do, a little bit of sneaking to do, and then we get into it. So there is one missional option side objective, I don't know why the hell I keep screwing that up, but I do, but you know what I mean anyway. So we've got to bend these five um, sort of uh, TV antennas, I couldn't even remember what they were called then, just like you had to do in mission 3 I believe, so just follow the same path I do. You can't really lose the car, to be honest, um, because we're all sort of in the same vicinity. But just jump from rooftop to rooftop, same ones I do, and uh, go ahead and bend them before you proceed. Antenna has the desired effect of interrupting transmission. One would think you've done this before. Ah, leave. <laughs> spy on Armquist's little meeting. Majestic can get bent, as the kids say. You're going down, little man! So now we have to basically reach the base undetected. We've done that plenty of times throughout the game so far. Um, but of course, if you end up in the same position like I just did, basically, you start from the rooftop, and if you get caught or end up dying, you will start straight back on the rooftop anyway. Now, I almost screw it up here, because people can actually see me trying to do that, so go ahead and just sort of hide behind a tree or something for a couple of seconds, and then people will seem to forget, which is all good. So that's actually not too bad with the hollow blob. Yeah, if you do get caught, hide behind a tree, and they'll go, oh... Hmm, I'm sure I've seen an alien, but then I'm probably just high as balls. Which, I mean, a lot, a lot, a lot of these, uh, a lot of these NPCs seem to be high as balls anyway. But it just keeps scanning minds for now. We see our objective, who we need to hollow blob right in front of us, right there. But you've got to do it at a certain point, and you've got to use the distract on the guards, which are to the left of him. So there's a couple of majestic agents there, as you see, so don't do it yet, because there's still loads of people that I see. We'll have to follow him for just a little while, until he gets to sort of about the helicopter-ish, roughly about here. But then, as soon as he gets far enough, then use the distract, 
on the majestic agents down there then they will obviously start doing the old chicken dance as soon as he gets to this sort of helicopter here then you should be good to go for the hollow blob for some reason that took me about four attempts and i have no idea why but then we're going to head to the door now we're going to answer a few questions and then basically after these questions you need to kill a whole bunch of crappy ass guards and then the boss fight will ensue top mustache brother but choose the second one then who cares about the human female to begin with what happens to the human female that is none of our concern then choose the first one arm quests paranoid you know what they say although then again you, you'd be a bit suspicious if someone said who cares what happened to the human female you would be a bit weird wouldn't you but anyway as soon as that ends we're gonna have to kill these four or five guards right here very easy you can just fling them up in the air like i did or you can just um i on detonate them if you want they are usually the two quickest ways of uh, just killing a bunch of douchebagging army guys like i said fair play this army has a shit ton of money it has an absolute ton of money. The amount of guards they've sent my way and they still can't kill us. <laughs> so here is General Armquist, who's in a big giant sort of mech suit, but it kind of reminds me of, you know, guys with the small penises who always just go with the big cars? Yeah, it just kind of reminds me of that. So that's all we've got to do then. So every time he fires a rocket towards us then, um, pick it up with your psychokinesis and then kill him. But... What we need to do for this optional side objective is collect ammo that spawns. Now, I don't think that includes ammo that trans that you transmog yourself, sadly. So I think you've got to wait until ammo spawns and then just collect it. And that's all it is. But of course, that does mean that we have to sort of wait around and try not to die. Which again is pretty easy. There's a few guards that will try and come. But it is easy to avoid the rockets. Easy to avoid the... Uh, firearm and again if you do need more ammo just fly up onto the roof on your left or just go behind the building and you should be good to go otherwise it's quite really it's it's not a bad fight at all it is easy to avoid but of course as soon as you see any guards just kill them immediately obviously just to be on the uh, easier and safer side but just keep going around the map keep flying around until you see the ammo spawn Yeah, it's only taking me so long to beat him because I'm trying to obviously find the ammo spawn. But you can go ahead and kill him. I think that transmogging the ammo boxes and everything works later on. I think you have to beat him once potentially. I'm not sure sort of how it works, but it seems to have worked there. So from now, you can transmog 
and um, little ammo boxes and things like that to get your ammo spawn and then just go ahead and destroy. So then, for Arm Quest's last phase, he basically shoots rockets in the air and you're going to tell where they're going to land as there are a whole bunch of red circles around you. Obviously, avoid them if you don't want to die. And again, as soon as we collect the ammo spawn, just go ahead and kill him straight away. Try not to do what I just did there, uh, which should always be handy. But yeah, as soon as you get it, you're now able to just kill him, so go ahead and just destroy him. Do it, do it, do it now! So there is General Armquist defeated, so I'm hoping that you kind of had an easier time of it, even more than I did to be honest, like I said it was easy enough to avoid the gunfire and the rocket as long as you got rid of the guards etc. So that is your first boss fight out of three, the next boss fight is even easier, we literally don't even have to move which is always handy. But again if you need in any upgrades or anything it's best we, we basically need to start uh, getting them out now. Um, if Again, if you do need any sort of upgrades or DNA or anything, you can literally go to Turnip Seed Farm. I just went to sort of a Turnip Seed Farm, Santa Modesto, whatever, and just anal probed everyone, brain extracted everyone until I got enough DNA. You know, roughly about half hour of getting these NPCs' brains to be able to upgrade. So, always worth doing. Uh, but we should be good for now. It's only really before we get to the last bosses. Which is probably best to do, but now we are on to the lone gunman. We are very close to the end now, actually. Ike. I, uh, 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 the mothership's tracking system is broken. I think he uses those convoys of long black vehicles for transit. You think? I can't exactly pinpoint the president from Orbit Crypto. It's not like he walks around with a big red arrow over his head. I need you to follow those vehicles so we can identify him. There we go. So we've got our missional objective then. Don't alert the police. And that is as easy as just hollow blobbing someone and keeping on scanning minds while avoiding majestic circles. It literally is that easy. And the main point of this, what we're doing then, is following the president's car. So of course, there, but there are plenty of people about. Uh, obviously, obviously, as long as you don't draw attention to yourself by getting out your little, little grey alien penis or anything. I wonder what one looks like. No, actually, I don't wonder. Scrap that. 
Uh, moving on. There's the president's car. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Please ignore that. Thanks, guys. But there is the president's car. They're going to be going very slowly. So, like I said, our job for now is scan mines and avoid majestic circles. And don't think about grey alien penis. Scanning. Oh, look. Their vehicles use hydrocarbon combustion. How quaint. Crypto, try not to breathe. Oh my god, is my fly down? Don't look, don't look. Out of all the streets in all the cities, I had to walk into this one. Hmm. What if you cooked hamburgers really fast and gave them to people in cars through a window? Nah, that's a dumb idea. It'd never work. Maybe I should just leave. Take Bob's cash, head for California. I could be a star, I know it. Mm -mm. Can't wait to get home. Nobody makes meatloaf like my Mary Lou. What would Elliot Ness do? Never carry a knife to a gunfight? No, that's not it. What was it again? I wonder if Doris Day is really hmm. as Passengers as and components are both made of carbon compounds. They must have gotten the Soylent Green leather interior. Pricey option! This city's getting way too crowded. A million people is just too many. It'd be great if something just came along and just swept them away. Oh, we'll their you know, electronics are masking all human neuroelectrical signals. Well, so much for biorhythms. We still got the horoscope, though. One more sweet cheeks comment, and I'm calling my lawyer. Boss of mine pats my ass one more time, I'm gonna deck him. There's got to be a rich gentleman for me somewhere in this city. God, I hope we land the Jenkins account. Can't wait to rub Andrew's nose in it. And of course it's not that easy, of course it's an ambush. So what we have to do now is kill basically everyone in sight, but what we need to do for the optional side objective is drown the soldiers. So, um, obviously there's only a couple of Majestic agents here, but when the soldiers do arrive, make sure to throw them where I'm throwing them now, over into the sea. Um, it, it's quite easy, but again, there are plenty of places to hide if you start to run out of your shield and health. Behind the sort of behind these sort of crates and canisters here, but of course, always get your gun ready just in case there is someone behind it. But for me, I was pretty good. No, I lied. There were four soldiers behind. There were rocket launchers. I was not pretty good. Another broadcast. He says 
and breathe a sigh of relief. Um, but we're not quite done, we're actually going to reach the actual press conference where it's being held now. And it's best to get your ion detonator ready. Basically, our optional side objective is to kill the president with an explosive. But what you can do, there are two mechs here. So what you can do is just aim it and shoot it at the one mech. And that should be enough to be able to explode and kill the president as well. But, of course, there are a couple of explosive crates and barrels and things around because he starts actually running off the stage and going back towards the octagon. Um, so if you end up doing that, there are a couple of explosive crates about. Even on his stage for some goddamn reason. Uh, so you can do it that way if you... Obviously, if that's the way you prefer to do it. But now what we're going to do, we're going to reach our saucer and we're going to destroy the humans that are ambushing us again and destroy all the equipment that are there. Cheesy does it, mate. Cheesy does it. And them. Space. I'm taking you to it. Yes. This is. Hurry! They're going to destroy your saucer. They knew the gods of another being. Did you want a saucer upgrade? Or something a little more... personal? Mm. Mission 21 out of 23, the Fuhrer on Filibuster Actually, sounds like a nice sandwich, doesn't it? Nice American sandwich. They call, like, baguettes and stuff sandwiches, Americans. Why are Americans and British people so different? Tell me that. Why? So anyway, as we begin anyway, it does sound like a nice bloody burger, the you on filibuster. But we're just heading to the orange bean marks. This is where all the um, senators are, and we need to basically just brain extract them. Don't kill them any other way because it's the side missional objective. I don't know why I keep forgetting that. Of course, you're going to get majestic agents and police and things shooting at you. But just head to where all the senators are on the map. Just use your brain extract on them for now. This bit is the definitely the easiest bit out of the two sections of this level. Just enjoy dashing about, though. Bite the ball. Ow. Ow. <laughs> You're gone. Put me down. God, I love. My butt! The senator's break must have ended. Analysis shows they've had a liquid lunch. Don't hesitate! Chase them out! My butt! 
So then, now we are done, we have to get to the uh, building right here, but this is the biggest pain in the ass, purely because we're basically having to attack senators and stop them trying to get in the building, and this part takes roughly about four minutes, but the biggest pain in the ass is we have to kill senators using explosives. So there are plenty of explosive crates about, but you have to be careful, uh, because obviously they will run out, and if you haven't got that much... Uh, ammo with your ion detonator, of course, then you'll have to basically restart the checkpoint and do it again. Now, obviously, with the main objective says there, that will obviously run down the more senators, the more that the senators get through. Sometimes it can be an absolute pain in the ass, as you've just seen with the explosive missing. But again, just make sure, because there are quite a few that we need to kill. And there's going to be police, there's going to be soldiers always attacking you, so you have to be constantly moving, constantly on your guard, constantly watching around, and just make sure, like I said, as soon as you see a senator with the orange beam on them, just try and be a, a, just try and be a lot more careful than I was in this. And like I said, this roughly will take about four to five minutes. So again, if you're sort of coming close to the end now and you're struggling with these explosive crates, just use the Ion Detonator. If you've got enough ammo, you should be absolutely fine by now with the Ion Detonator. As you watch me doing right now. But now that the uh, side objective is out the way, it does... Um, seem to get a little bit easier now you can just shoot them or fling them with, with, with whatever you want but of course you need to be washing out for soldiers and police at all times as well uh, because dying at this part ugh, man it is just a pain in the absolute ball sack and nobody likes ball sack pains can Steve Austin be far behind if you ah, I'll be Yes, yes, toss the ball around like a happy 
And there it is then, god damn finally. It's just typical of governor's mind, isn't it? To lay on their ass and make a decision whenever the hell they want. Douchebags! Anyway, thank god that that one is done then, the Fuhrer and Filibuster. So we've got one more level to go before we are going to get to the couple of bosses. So again, like I said in the last upgrades, if you're needing a little bit more... Go to Santa Modesta or whatever, just brain extract everyone for 10, 20, 30 minutes until you get enough to um, upgrade whatever you want. Of course, remember, the Disintegrator Ray is the main gun that we want to be um, upgrading. The Zapomatic you can do as well, that definitely comes in handy, as well as the Ion Detonator. So those really are the three main ones now before we hit the bosses. But, as I said, we're going on to level 22 now. Shocking developments. And this one, uh, this mission is actually way easier than the last one. Kind of like a little bit of a calm before the storm. You know how you're like, ah, oh, right, I just had a bit of a hectic mission. Let's just chill out before we get into another hectic mission. The ones you met in Area 42. And you, my impulsive friend, are to destroy every Tesla coil unit in town. Interesting. Some are automated, but others require human... So what we're doing then, as it says basically on the team, we're just destroying the Tesla coils, which is absolutely fine. But the first one, if you sort of follow where I'm going right here, we're going to be destroying two that are on rooftops, but there are two mechs. That are on the rooftops, so be extremely careful. I managed to get, I managed to sort of sneak in behind them so they don't even see me. But all you, all you doing is pressing X to hack it and destroy it anyway. Um, but it shouldn't be too bad, really. You can just kill the mechs. You know how to kill a mech by now. You got this. You got this, girl. You got this, man. And then it's just as easy as that. Of course, if you want to destroy the. My e EMP mines and the SAM launcher, the mech tries shooting you, but you can Sugma, my friend. Um, otherwise, like I said, we are just following the orange beams and the bits on the map that we've been doing. And for the side option, optional mission objective, uh, what we have to do is kill the scientists with their own Tesla coil inventions, which is very fun. That's an extremely fun side mission objective, to be fair. And all you got to do is actually pick them up with psychokinesis and just leave them by the Tesla coil. You don't have to throw them, just pick them up, put them by the Tesla coil, and then the, let the Tesla coil do its work. Like there. So obviously only scientists work for this, so make sure to do that. And then you don't even have to kill the rest of the guys, just destroy the Tesla coil and then get your skinny grey ass out of there.
So, as I said, you know, I haven't really been speaking again the last couple of missions, I don't think. Uh, I can't remember, I've already lost my head. Anyway, of course, <laughs> as soon as we destroy this last Tesla coil right here, eventually we're going to... There it is. So, yeah, again, I haven't really been talking. It's either been defend this or attack that or just go to each location and attack that. It is exactly what it says on the tin. I And you've had enough of my sexy-ass Welsh voice. I know you have. <laughs> so, we're in the saucer. We're going to be destroying the... Basically, everything else now. So, we're going to be destroying it all. But make sure to have a look for the blue marks as they are the Tesla coil inventors. So have a look on the map and sort of have a little look around. There's one right in front of us. As you can see, the little blue icon, that would be the Tesla coil inventors. Again, there's only three, so it is as simple as that. Otherwise, just fly around once again, flex your muscles, and uh, destroy the Tesla coils. Maybe Crypto's penis is tiny. That's why he's got such a big saucer. Hey, I spoke about General Armquist. Maybe Crypto's the same. <laughs> Who knows? I don't want to know, thanks. Will you stop talking about alien genitals already? Gall! So, here we go then. Mission 22 is now complete. I hope you enjoyed that mission because it is about to get a little bit more hectic. Although, again, relatively easy. Um, I'm saying easy, of course. It really depends on sort of skill, etc. But, hey, I've got a couple of hints and tips for you to get through to these next two bosses. Again, for one, fully upgrade your disintegrator ray. Um, and your, make sure your shields on both are good. Extremely important here, make sure your, your Repulsotron is fully upgraded. This is extremely important for the first boss. Make sure the Repulsotron is good to go. Then fully upgrade, like I said, your Disintegrator Ray, your Zapomatic and your Ion Detonator. It doesn't have to be, um, as long as your Disintegrator Ray is fully charged, you should be good to go. Again, if you are needing DNA upgrade, as I've said the previous two times as well, just go on to um, one of the locations and just brain extract your way through life. There'll be plenty of people and plenty of soldiers and police officers and everything to get enough. Um, again, say about half hour potentially, um, or until you have as much as you want. But otherwise, here we go! Attack of the 50-foot president. Man, a president with 50 feet. That's disgusting. But of course, we're not talking about that. This is an actual robot president. As you will see right now, I do hope I have not spoiled that. Sorry. But we're going to see it anyway. I mean, the clue's in the bloody title. And uh, the cutscene also. If I mean, if this is the first time you're playing it, the Destroy All Humans game and didn't play it on the PS2, then this bit will be a surprise for you. Anyway, uh, the main villain who's been trying to kill us all along isn't who you think it is. But we're going to, if you've just skipped the cutscene like I have, we'll leave that until a little bit later. So, we have got a bunch of missiles come towards us. I'll go straight towards your saucer now. First option, side objective, go straight ahead of you to Robo Prez, hit his weak spot on his chest, and that is good. Now back away, immediately back away. And what he'll do is he will actually throw three, two or three rockets at you at a time. Now, as soon as you see the little white arrow, as you've seen, press the B button. That will actually deflect, thanks to the Repulsotron, it will actually deflect the rocket back to him. So you don't have to get anywhere near him and have the potential of dying. This has been made extremely easy. Whether they patch it in the future or not, we are obviously not sure yet. But this is all you've got to do. So as soon as you get that side objective out of the way, back up, and then all we're doing is just smashing rockets back into his face. 
it's going to take a little bit of time, of course, and if you would prefer, you can just death ray him and kind of deconstruct him, do it whatever way you want, but this is definitely the easiest, easiest method and definitely the cheesiest way of beating him. But that's what we're here for, right? Easy cheese, baby. So once we've destroyed him, now where he's going to go is basically straight in front of him. So we're just going to avoid him as he runs away. I don't know why he does that, but you know we're literally just going to be doing the same thing. But there it is. Watch out for the big spiky balloons here. They will still attack you anyway. Uh, but just try uh, like there, your sneaky little butthole face. Son of a bitch. Collect these as well, and there we go. As soon as he starts to attack, back up to a safe distance, and then use the old cheesy bacon easy method again. Try not to lose too much concentration, of course, because the rockets do hurt, but uh, how about a little quick joke? <laughs> what do you call a spaceship with a faulty air conditioning unit? A frying saucer! <laughs> Don't lose concentration, otherwise you'll die.
So that's two out of three now that we've done. Where he's going to go is basically to the octagon where we had to sneak our way to earlier. Again, watch out for the balloons that can and will attack you because, you know, balloons have got a mind of their own apparently. So just death ray them or you can just sneak past them on the left, whatever you find easier. And again, it's just the same tactic then. So get enough um, ammo, destroy all the guns and rockets and everything. Destroy as many balloons as you can, which are in your way. Otherwise, we're just backing up, backing up, and cheesing our way through life, baby. Man, I love the smell of presidential brains in the morning. Just remember who set that giant potus of destruction upon you. Uh, right. You know who I mean. Oh, that silhouette guy, right? Uh, or chick. Nice. So, there we go. We've beaten Robo Perez, but now here comes the main event. And the biggest tip and hint I can give... Always go out on the attack. Don't just try to defend because there are a couple of mechs and guards and things that will try and attack you. Uh, there's a few guns and rocket launchers, etc. as well. And she can just come out of nowhere and just kick your ass if you're always on the back foot, if you're always trying to defend. So what we need to do is just keep constantly attacking her, get in her face, get in her ass. Don't get in her ass literally, of course. But that's not what we're here to do and that would just be plain weird. But that's what we need to do, just keep constantly shooting at her, keep following wherever she goes, rather than backing away, unless of course, you needed a bit of health and you needed a bit of shield, etc. But as long as you, as long as you are sort of flying up in the air, that's another big tip I can give you. The best thing to do is just keep flying around in jetpack, press the left trigger to obviously lock onto her and then just shoot. So, there's a side object. There's the uh, side objective as well. We need to shoot her out of the air. She's going to start flying in the air in just a moment. So then go ahead, use the disintegrate array and then shoot her out of the air. That should be that, so we don't have to worry about that now. Another big tip I can give you, when her shield starts, when she starts doing using her shield like that right now, if you want to save a little bit of ammo, it's best to use your Zapomatic gun to destroy the shield. But of course, that's completely up to you. I only had to top up with ammo sort of three or four times during the fight with the disintegrate array so that bit's up to you but again like i said just keep keep going keep constantly attacking her for this first phase keep staying in the air and avoiding she might hit you once or twice but it won't be too bad when she does shoot up in the air there will be little blue shields that you will actually need to get in because otherwise you're going to lose a lot of health and i will tell you exactly where so when she does this crazy sort of spinning fire type thing, blue shields are going to sort of uh, come on the map randomly. You need to get in there. If you get in the same one that she does, you can actually get quite a few um, hits as well. But don't try and sneak out because you will lose half of your health there. So there you go. Zap a her, and this is the first one. Now, don't use it. Uh, don't 
shoot her anymore at the minute. You'll actually waste some of your ammo. But she's going to go to this little area right here and try to regain some of her health. So there's a gun there. Try and destroy that gun first. And she'll actually try and regain her health with this little doohickey, which was right next to the gun. So what you need to do is destroy that as quickly as possible. But, of course, while avoiding her gunfire as well. Obviously, the more health that she regains, the worse off for you it's going to be. So just quickly focus on that. So stay behind this. Again, use your um, ion detonator. Throw this majestic agent. Any majestic agents or anything, just... Literally, just throw them. And there's another gun here which you will need to destroy. But there is quite a little bit of ammo. So it's worth doing that. And again, as I said, she has this sort of little purple laser beam. Uh, all you got to do is let you jump over that. It can hurt quite a bit, as you just see. So as soon as you see her start doing it, literally just jump over it. But collect as much ammo as you can over here. And then go back into just attacking her. Attack, attack, attack. So here we go then. For the, there might be a mech that will attack you either now or during the sort of second fight but this is where she brings up the big guns there are four guns that appear here as well as well as the health thing so just make sure to try and destroy them as quickly as you can with the ammo that allows um, obviously just to make this a lot easier for you and obviously try not to destroy yourself as well that will always be handy but again just focus on taking out the guns and then taking out her little health doohickey my bobby my thingy my jigger there and obviously, if you can not get out of the mission area, that would also be very helpful. Bam, so there we go. That one's destroyed. Now, just take your time and be careful here, because these red... If you get inside these red circles right there, um, obviously, you're going to get hurt. So, just be extremely careful. And she does bring out a bit more of the big guns now. I do try and stay here, but... So there you go, I just got absolutely messed up, literally almost died. So that is extremely important. As soon as you hear, there is a no there will be a noise that you can hear. And it's sort of a like something f about to fire up. And that's exactly what it is. So as soon as you hear that, get into one of those blue shields. I almost did mess it up, otherwise it's not too bad. As soon as you get full shield, once again, get your ass down there and then just keep attacking it with a disintegrate array. And with Try and be careful though, because when you're trying to move around with her, it obviously locks on to these sort of circles right there, which can lose a bit of ammo, can be annoying. Otherwise, just attack, 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 and we should be golden nuggets, boy. Golden nuggets, we did it! Get in there, come on! Yes! Congratulations. So there it is, Silhouette was a chick all along, that's mad, isn't it? So I'm going to let you just enjoy this little cutscene now. I know we've skipped most of them, but there's about three or four minutes of cutscene, and it's just so satisfying, so get in there, come on! Congratulations on beating this bitch. Alien freaks. Struggle's over, babe. Furon's won. Human Zipperoni. You think you won? You think America is the only human civilization on Earth? That's what all the Americans seem to think. At least the ones I scanned. Smug little insect. There are three billion people on this planet. And everywhere there are humans. There is majestic. Sorry, doll face. Without you, Majestic's just a bunch of dudes in crappy black suits. Majestic. Empty. Twelve. The twelve. All over. All over the world.
Attention, humans. I am Cryptosporidium of the planet Furon. This planet is now a territory of the Furon Empire. Resist this. Good evening, my fellow Americans. In recent days, rumors have run rampant of flying saucers, alien invaders from other worlds, indeed, of my own demise. I'm speaking to you tonight to put these rumors to rest. The truth is, America has been attacked, not by little green men, but red. And our invaders are most definitely of this Earth. Despite the efforts of this administration, our nation has been infiltrated by communists, godless deviants who hate us for our freedom-loving way of life. Their conspiracy, details of which are only now coming to light, included drugging our water supplies and controlling our media via mind control. The result was mass hysteria, a national delusion which provided them the cover they needed to execute their fearful scheme. But your military and intelligence agencies fought back, and I'm proud to report that once again, America has emerged victorious. However, the price is dear. At this moment, millions of Americans are working hard and playing by the rules, unaware of the lingering toxic pollutants in their minds. To combat this lingering menace, we have set up testing centers across the nation, at shopping malls, local schools, even churches. The test is simple and painless. Why, our family had it just this morning, and I'm back at work. Doris is in the kitchen baking brownies, and little Billy's out playing tag in the rose garden right now. It's completely safe. So, trust your government. Trust your president. Freedom is on the march, my friends. Good night, and God bless America. Step inside, citizen. You sure this thing is safe? Step inside, citizen. Jeez Louise. I don't know. Hey, buddy, you heard the president. If it's good enough for him, it's good enough for us. Yeah! Yeah! Yeah. Well, I guess a test couldn't hurt. in a barrel. And so, the world breathes a sigh of relief. The threat of alien invasion proved a false alarm. As for those who scan the skies for a real visit from outer space, they may be in for a very long wait. Perhaps the lesson is that we should turn our... <laughs> who does... 
the presidents here remind you of? LOL! Mr. Trump. <laughs> anyway, that's it for video 2 out of 2. We've got all of the achievements except for the challenges now, so come back for video 3 out of 3 with all the hints and tips that you need to complete those bitch-ass challenges. Thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. I hope this video has helped. Big shout out to TimG84 for the continued support on Patreon. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Check me on all my socials, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, etc. But I will see you guys in the final part for all the challenges. Big love, baby.